Hi everyone, Amy Sin here, and welcome to the Wheel of Randomness, where I let the wheel dictate my nail art. So in this one, I made a few mistakes, and I decided to include them, so that you guys can learn from my mistakes. Also, before we get started, uh, if you enjoy the music, it's by Oz Nelson. I'll be leaving his links in the description, so uh, if you enjoy, feel free to check him out and give him some love. Um, so, without any further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so, for the first nail, we have striping tape. And our base color will be teal. Second color will be a multi-chrome. And we're going with Purple with Envy by Hollow Taco. And for the finish, we're going with a flaky. Encore. Okay, so for the teal I used Blooming uh, by Color Club uh, and I applied two coats. I arranged the striping tape in a random pattern. Uh, there's no sense to my madness, so don't try to find any. Um, so, Mischief by Hollow Taco. I love these multi-chromes, there's just one thing. Unless you apply them over black, uh, one coat is very sheer and very uneven. Uh, so as soon as I started applying, I had to think quickly um, because when using striping tape or vinyls, um, you can't let your polish dry. Otherwise, it's gonna it's gonna remove some of the polish that you don't want to be removed. Um, so even though I wasn't satisfied, I had to uh, quickly and carefully remove the striping tape using some tweezers. Whoops! There I go, hitting my camera again. Ugh, I had a bit of tape stuck on my tweeze and I still continued. Uh, don't do that. Be careful. Be safe, guys. So once I've removed all of the striping tape, I went ahead and applied a second coat of mischief. The first brush I used, uh, the bristles were too long and too thin, um, so that didn't really work out. So then I used another brush. Um, it has shorter and more bristles, um, so it was a little bit more appropriate for the job. Um, so what I do is I have a little dish of uh, acetone. I just keep it nearby and uh, lay down some paper towels. I dip my brush in the acetone and then I will touch the paper towel with my brush uh, so that it's not completely saturated uh, with the acetone. Because if you just go straight uh, from dipping your brush in the acetone to the nail, um, you're definitely going to get some flooding and it's not going to be as precise. So you just, yeah, just slightly touch the uh, paper towel with your brush, uh, which will um, just, yeah, take just enough out uh, so that you can, uh, you can do some clean work. But really, um, the brush is what will make or break it. So 
So the cleanup job was pretty terrible. Um, I'll blame it on the brush because I later found a better brush and did a better job on a nail number three. Um, in any case, we're running with it and uh, we're topping it off with uh, Encore, uh, which is a flaky topper by ILNP. Um, fortunately, not enough to save the nail. Uh, the colors were good. I like the teal with the purple with Envy. That's a good match. Uh, I just wish I had done a better job with the, uh, with the cleanup. Alright, so what will the Wheel of Randomness give us for nail number two? We have Stamping Nail Art. And for the base color, it will be a multi-chrome. We're going with Mist Shift by Hollow Taco. And the stamping polish will be pink. Now as for the topper, we're going with glitter. Yay, my favorite. It's totally not sarcastic. And the topper shall be Poppin' Bottles by Color Club. When starting with the black base, uh, one coat is enough uh, with the Hollow Taco Multichromes. So uh, yeah, I applied one coat of uh, Mist Shift. For stamping, you will need a stamper. I got this one from uh, Beauty Big Bang. I love it because it works as a magnifying glass. Uh, stamping polish, uh, this one is also from Beauty Big Bang. Uh, stamping plate and a uh, scraper. So now we are all set up for stamping. The first design didn't pick up so well, I decided to include it uh, just to show you how easy it is to clean up. So I tried to pick up the design, as you can see, didn't quite pick up. So all you need is a piece of tape, just stick it over your stamper and there you go. Cleanup is just that easy. So I tried another design I thought uh, would be easier to pick up. Um, I've been able to pick this one up with uh, different stamping polishes, but uh, sometimes, you know, they just don't match. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it didn't quite pick it all up. Third's a charm. Um, so this time I picked a design that had um, bigger grooves, um, and it picked up better. However, I didn't notice that I also picked up a zigzag line from the other design next to it and I stamped it on. But uh, it's okay, we'll work with it. And for the topper, we have Poppin' Bottles by Color Club, which is an orange and holographic glitter. The next nail art will be striping tape. And the first base color. Oh, black. How convenient. They all have a black base. And we have red. Okay, now for the topper. Linear hollow. The nail was already black, so I just put a uh, gel top coat uh, before applying the striping tape. Uh, for the red, I used In Hot Water, which is a water-based polish. Um, so I should have thought uh, to apply a thinner coat and also uh, to 
better memorize in which order I put the striping tape uh, to facilitate the removal because uh, as you can see this this was quite messy so I ended up uh, just wiping the whole thing off with the acetone and starting again okay so for attempt number two I was more careful uh, not to have too much polish on my brush and uh, also I gave it a little bit more um, time to, to, to dry slightly, not much time, uh, just a little bit. And um, also I was careful about uh, removing the, the striping tape. still needed to do a little bit of cleanup, uh, but at this point I have found the uh, appropriate brush for the job, so uh, it went by uh, a little bit more smoothly this time. So I'm not quite sure what happened, but there are splotches on the base color. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened, uh, but let's go and put a um, linear holo taco uh, on top of that and uh, it doesn't completely camouflage it, but it makes it uh, a little less significant, I guess. And here's the final result. For our next nail art project, it will be a gradient. The base color shall be pink. Oh yeah, my favorite. And red. Okay, pink and red gradient. I can work with that. And the topper will be a shimmer. What shall we get? Scarlet. Okay. If you haven't seen uh, my latest uh, unboxing video, uh, you might want to check it out. I had quite a reaction to uh, Get It Girl. Um, I wasn't too thrilled to see uh, this kind of pink, but uh, I guess it's kind of grown on me. I wouldn't say I love it, but I don't mind having to work with it. Gradient. I used uh, Love Em and Leave Em as well as Get It Girl, uh, both from Color Club, uh, both cremes uh, with similar formulas. So, um, ideally, for uh, using the sponge technique for gradients, um, that's what you want. Um, so, similar formulas, uh, similar finishes. Um, I find that they blended really well even after uh, just one time uh, dabbing on the nail. Uh, I already had a pretty nice gradient. Uh, I still did it a couple more times just to make it uh, even better, but uh, yeah, no, they blended really nicely. And finally, for the topper, uh, Scarlet by ILNMP, uh, which is a nice red shimmer. So I thought it was a really nice touch. Um, this isn't something I would wear, but I thought it was uh, very good looking. Uh, probably more like a, maybe like a Valentine's Day uh, type of nail art. So there they all are, including a bonus fifth nail uh, that I lost some of the footage. Uh, I also, for some reason, forgot to put the topper, so whatever. I didn't include it. Um, so yeah, my personal favorite is uh, number three. It calls to my dark side. Um, also, surprisingly, don't hate number four. Uh, it just doesn't call out to me, but uh, it kind of looks pretty. And number one would have been nice if it was well executed. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, do check out Oz Nelson if you enjoyed the music. Uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care guys. Have a good one.